Elite Dangerous released in 2014, and it was the first released New Age Space Sim since 2012 Resurgence of Space Sim Genre. It looked good, it played well, and it really was brought up to the modern play standard. But did you know there was Elite Dangerous before Elite Dangerous? It's called Elite, and despite the obviously silly name, it's a genuinely impressive fan project. Well, hey kids, do you want some drugs? Oh, sorry, I don't have any, but I have something better! Patreon! Yes, that makes videos happen! The original Space Sim, Elite, in 1984 was an astonishing piece of coding and gameplay. Or at least that's what the old farts keep saying who played it. And you know what? I agree. Creators of this game, specifically David Braben, later followed it up with some uh, mediocre nothing burgers of a sequel. Elite Dangerous was and still is an incredible experience. However, in the background, a small group of fans have been working on recreating original Elite in modern graphics code and called it Elite. From early 2003 up until today, this is it. I'm genuinely surprised how close, in some parts at least, it resembles Elite Dangerous, especially for the Cobra Tree and a few other ships as well, while being a near-carbon copy of the original Elite 84. Oh boy, alright, so this is all Elite. Oh boy, um, hmm, music. Okay, play window. Huh, that's a quick switch. Wow. Oh my, what? What? Why? What? <laughs> the sound effects! Oh no! Just the cutest little sound for the Lazuar. Pitch is gonna be up and down. Of course, we're not using the mouse because why the hell would we even do that? Those are those are high quality poly <laughs> polygons right there. But all right, <laughs> that's a cobra. <laughs> No way! So this is the alternative version of a Cobra by by fans. I mean, it is rather close to the actual, you know, legit official Cobra. Not quite, but it's astonishing how close it is. Holy fuck, this action! <laughs> oh no! This nav beacon actually has better quality, better looks than actual Elite Dangerous nav beacon. Go and kill it. Come on. Oh, I hate this movement so much. Okay, there we go. Wow, it looks similar. Holy fuck, it looks similar. Okay. Oh my god, you actually have to do Shift. Oh, I hate this so much. Like, who designed these keys? Like, genuinely, 2004, you already had plenty of games showcasing how not to map a fucking game. Honestly, this looks cool. <laughs> ah, you done it, you docked a degree of success. Let's start the game. Actually, normal start. Oh, it did. The tab tutorial didn't cover the literal. Mm hmm. It didn't cover the uh, starport use. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. So basically, the pro big problem with all uh, elite, if you will, is Elite 84. This is literally a modern recreation of it with the massivest test nostalgia glasses on. Now, while I do respect the Fuck out of this project overall. I just hate this nostalgia driven nonsense that shackles you into making and more so propagating shit control schemes and shit UI and the shit gameplay. You can actually see all the ships in. Oh, this is the Ferdinand's? No way! <laughs> 
Oh, it looks like a piece of shit. Yeah, that, that does not look like anything that I know mom to be as. Sidewinder, there we go. Oh, it just looks so close. Okay, this is the adder. Uh, honestly speaking, I like this adder far more than the actual Elite Dangerous adder. This has character. As I call the adder from Elite Dangerous, a pavement slab. Because it's that boring. Asp Mark II. Interesting. Oh, so close! So close! An asteroid base before Elite Dangerous had it. Ah, oh, so cool! These are the best missions that you're gonna give me. Even this game is grindy! God damn it! What is it with space sims and grinding? Hyper jump, come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's just the saddest, saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, so basically this is the homepage for All Elite, where you can literally download everything, including the expansion packs or quote-unquote mods. And boy, oh boy, there are a lot of them. Of course, all the versions, so it, you know, is a bit uh, much, but regardless. <laughs> No way! Say what you will, this is still better than what what Oli has. Oh, dude! I mean, it's still crap, but this is a lot better, please! Oh, yes! This is something that I should have probably introduced in mind. Okay, wow! Ooh, the map! Okay, this is cool. Yeah, uh, if you're gonna play All Elite, also be prepared for not a lot of sound effects. It's astonishing how few sound effects actually exist within Elite. Uh, oh, I mean, sorry, All Elite. Man, these these mods are so cool! God damn it, Elite Dangerous allow modding! Okay, I, I have to stop here. But you see what modding can do? Just genuinely expand the game so much further than even the developers themselves could do. There you go. The game and source code are freely available under the GNU uh, General Public License. Like, no, no. Yes! Fuck yes! So cool. And that's basically about it on the game. Overall, yes, there are plenty of problems. For example, the yaw control does not exist. It doesn't support mouse, apparently. And the menus are absolute travesty. And worst of all, the game is absolutely shackled to the nostalgia. But there is genuinely, potentially something cool. And honestly, I believe that if this was actually made into a real game, rather than just a fan recreation project, it could stand next to, well, hell, even X4. But for now, that's about it. Do let me know what you think of this sort of a time capsule almost like. And hell, go check it out. I mean, it is for free, open source even.